sign up for a drug plan? And is it something I can do myself or do I really need to be a technical kind of person? We're going to talk about that and I'm going to talk you through enrolling in a drug plan through your My Medicare account. And I don't have screen sharing software, so I am going to be doing this by talking to you, recording this video, and then I will put some of the pertinent information like the links and so forth in the, um, uh, you know, in the body and in, in the description below this video. And we're going to see where we go. All right. I am actually, I did this for myself yesterday. I'm going to do it for my wife right now. And so here we go. I'm at account.mymedicare.gov. That's account.mymedicare.gov. If you don't have a My Medicare account, shame on you. You really need to have one if you want to know what's going on with your claims, not just your drug plan, but your health claims and, you know, what you what you're going to owe and what has been submitted to Medicare and all that. It is really and truly, it is your, your Bible, your guidebook. So get a My Medicare account if you don't already have one. Well, I'm here. And again, this is my wife's account. Uh, and uh, it's account.mymedicare.gov. I'm going to click log in. And it's going to take me into her account. And on the opening page, it's mymedicare.gov slash dashboard. And on the left-hand side, about a third of the way down, it says current plan. And it has the name of her current drug plan, some other details, when it started, and so forth. But at the very bottom, that little white box that's against a kind of a greenish-blue background, it says find 2021 plans. Well, that's what I'm going to do. This is how you sign up for a drug plan through your My Medicare account. It's simple, easy peasy, and I'm going to do it right now. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to load up. It says answer a few quick questions, what kind of coverage you're looking for. I'm going to check the little bubble that says drug plan part D, because that's what we're looking for. Now, since I'm logged in as my wife, it's in the box where it says enter your zip code. Well, it's pre-populated. So as long as I know that that is our zip code, that's fine. And I'm going to hit continue, but uh, that particular zip code crosses over two counties. So before I hit continue, I'm going to circle uh, or check off the little bubble that says our county. And then I'm going to hit, uh, hit next. Uh, do you want to see drug cost when you compare plans? Well, in our case, no, because she's not, she's currently not on any medications, not anticipating any uh, for next year. But if you are on medications and you want to find out what plans are best for you, you would check yes. But I'm going to check no. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and check yes. We're going to see what happens there. Great. Uh, how do you normally fill your prescriptions? You got a retail or mail order or both. I'm going to check retail off and then I'm going to hit next and it says add any recently filled drugs. Well, she hasn't filled any recently. She's not on any medications. So we're just going to, it's going to come up and say, well, what about these drugs, which are some drugs she had taken earlier this year? Well, she's not on those anymore. Um, they were both for uh, surgery. One of them was for cataract surgery. The other was for another kind of surgery. So we're not adding any drugs. I'm going to click next. And says now it says add a prescription drug, begin by typing to find your selected drug. If you were taking a new drug, you would fill it in there, click add drug, and then go on. But I, since we're not, she's not on any, she's not participating going on any, I'm going to say uh, done adding drugs or click that box that says done adding drugs. Now it comes up and it says there are 32 prescription drug plans available. And again, I've already looked at this and have decided that since she is not on any medications, then the drug plan that she's been on this year, which was $14 a month, 
Well, she doesn't need that because for next year, that would be 2021, there is a plan, Silver Script Smart RX. It's good for her and anybody who's not on any medications. If you're on maybe one or two very, very low cost medications, it might be good for you, but you just have to decide that for yourself. So uh, I'm gonna put her in the Silver Script Smart RX with a $7.30 premium, monthly premium. I'm going to check enroll and says a box comes up says join plan I'm gonna say yes and enter your Medicare number well I'm logged in as my wife so her Medicare number is already pre-populated uh, and then it says I've read and understand the contents of this page I'm gonna check that box off hit next your personal information again because I'm logged in as my wife uh, it's pre-populated with her name, her date of birth, and her gender, and I agree that yes, those are all right, and she is a female. Uh, her phone number, all right, I'm going to have to put that in there because it's not in there already. So I'm going to put it in there, then I'm going to hit next. Your address, your permanent address, uh, yep, that's right, that's where she lives, that's where I live. It does have a question, is your mailing address different from the address where you live? Now, uh, your, the mailing address is, can be a P.O. box or you know something like that. So if you have a P.O. box that's separate from your physical address, you would check that box saying your mailing address is different. But in order to sign up for a drug plan, you have to have a physical address. So, well... We don't have the mailing address is not different. So I'm going to check next and it says you're joining this plan. Um, what other types of coverage do you have? And it's, you know, do you have other coverage? Yes or no? Well, she has no other coverage. So I'm just going to check no. The next few questions are optional. So I'm not going to answer them because they're optional. So I scroll down to the bottom of the page. I hit next paying for your plan premium. How do you want to pay for it? Do you want it deducted from your Social Security benefit? Or do you want the plan to bill you each month? Well, she's not taking Social Security, so I want the plan to bill me next month. And then I go down a little bit further and I click Next. Here's the plan agreement. I understand. Uh, I'm the person uh, authorized to complete this, this understatement, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I'm the person, so I've read and agree with these statements, I'm the person joining the plan or I'm helping that person. I'm going to check that little bubble. I'm going to hit next. And then next one is review and um, review and submit your application. I'm going to scan down through there just to make sure that all the information is correct. And yes, I see that it is. And at the very bottom, it says submit your application. There's a little box Okay, and it says, I understand by selecting submit. I've read and understand blah, 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 blah. All right, um, I would, I'll check that box, but before I hit the big green submit button, I'm going to make a copy of this. So I'm going to right click on the screen and it's going to come up and do you want to print it or do you want to save it as a, as a PDF file or something else? Well, I'm going to save it as a PDF file. So I'm going to right click on this screen, this screen, and it will come up and I will save this as a, a PDF copy. And I'm going to, then I'm going to hit submit and I'm going to name that file because I'm saving it as a file. So I'm naming that file. Okay. And uh, then I hit submit. <laughs> I kind of got ahead of myself, didn't I? So I hit submit and it takes me over to the next page and you know, now it says, do you want to print a copy of the application? There's a big uh, green print button there. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to, I'm not going to say, well, I say yes to myself, not to the computer. Uh, so I'm going to print, uh, hit, hit the print button. And again, I'm saving this as a file. I could just as easily print it out on a printer, but I'm saving it as a file. So I do that and it comes up and you want to name the file? Yes, so I name the file. And so that's it, all done. So inside of just a very few minutes, um, let me see here, how far along are we? 
uh, less than 10 minutes. And actually, if I wasn't narrating this, uh, I could have gone through it in half that time. But uh, in less than 10 minutes, I've signed her up for a new drug plan for 2021. It's easy peasy. And anybody can do this. This is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. You take care. Have a great day.